friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to transform our master bedroom, redecorate it and make it a very cozy and relaxing space. It's been a blank slate since I took all of the Christmas decor down. So I'm really excited to add some life and some warmth back into this space. If you guys see my last video, I went to Hobby Lobby and looked for a piece of art to go on top of this bow fireplace mantle. So I'm going to put that over here and style it. I also picked up a faux plant from Hobby Lobby. I'm excited to style that. So I'm gonna put all of those pieces to good use. I'm gonna start by cleaning everything off. We're going to make a really cozy bed. I'm just gonna use very neutral colors. I'm gonna bring in a few new furniture pieces just to make it a little more functional. We're going to style on top of a dresser, which can be a little bit tricky, or at least it is for me. So we're going to decorate that area together, as well as a nightstand stand and our media console which is also a dresser so I'll share all of the furniture details at the end of the video where it's all from in case you're interested but I hope this video inspires you if you are decorating your master bedroom as well I'm mainly shopping my home for a lot of these pieces but I have purchased a few new items so if I can link anything down below I'll be sure to do so but without further ado make sure to like this video don't forget to subscribe for lots of home decorating styling cleaning motivation, all sorts of stuff we do here on my channel. So make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on an upload. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get to decorating. Alright, now we're getting started decorating and I went ahead and left some of the decor that was already there. I switched out the artwork above our bed. All three of those prints are from Hobby Lobby. And then I have some hats and that's about it. So now we're going to focus on the bedding and making it very cozy. So I'm starting out with a taupe colored quilt that's from JCPenney and then I'm putting our pillows that we sleep on and then our longer king size pillows and then I have a couple of euro size pillows and the one in the middle doesn't match the two on the ends but I hated to go buy all new pillows so it will do these cream colored pillows I picked up from home goods on clearance and I think they're a really good neutral and then I have this lumbar pillow from the hearth and hand collection at Target to make the bed even cozier, I'm adding a duvet cover with a king size comforter inside and I'm just going to fold it into quarters and drape it along the edge of the bed just to give it a very cozy plush feel. Now I'm taking my Swiffer duster and I'm just going to quickly dust everything off. The blinds always get really dusty in our bedroom because the vents are right underneath it. So I'm going to give those a quick wipe down as well as the nightstands and just clean everything before I redecorate.
I'm adding this bench to the end of the bed just as a place where we can sit down or throw my purse at the end of the day, just a very functional piece. And then I'm also bringing in this chair that will be perfect for putting your shoes on or just whatever. I'm going to throw a cozy blanket over the top and just create a cozy little nook. So that is what I'm bringing in. Now for the nightstands, I'm keeping them very simple. This one here, I'm just using a wooden base from Hobby Lobby with some greenery and then I have Taylor's Bible on his side. And then for my side, I have this new diffuser that I got for Christmas that I'm loving. I'll link it down below. I also have my Bible. I love this one. It's a plain Bible. I believe it's the NIV version and I really love it. I love the leather binding on it so I can link it below as well. I love diffusing oils at night. It just creates a very calming atmosphere and it helps me go to sleep hearing the sound. So I love having that on my nightstand. Now I'm styling above the dresser and I'm adding this window for a little bit of height. I'm also adding a stool and a few plants just to layer them all together. The first plant was from Target and the second one is from TJ Maxx. You can always find these for a really good deal there. So I'm going to start out by putting the window pane on the dresser and then I'm going to layer the stool. I'm going to place one plant and kind of drape the green off of it and then I'm going to place the other one on the other side so this is just one idea you could also add a picture frame to layer it even more if you would like but that is just how I'm cozying up the space I'm also adding a really cozy blanket to the chair For the faux fireplace, I love putting some firewood in this log holder that was thrifted. It was actually a find from my friend Nicole's shop. And for the top, I'm putting this landscape art from Hobby Lobby and I am obsessed with it. I think it totally sets the mood for the room. I just love all the colors in it. It's very relaxing and it's a very large picture. I was debating on whether to hang it on the wall or not, but I like just leaning and then I'm adding a few candlesticks and holders there from JC Penny and then on the other side I wanted to have some neutral just pompous grass arrangement and I just have it in a vase that was a Clarence Hobby Lobby find I'm also decorating with the Bible handy book. I think this book is beautiful and also really functional. And then I also have this candle from Hearth and Hand. I'm going to place those in the center of the faux fireplace just to anchor everything. I have some pompous grass in this antique vase and I just love it. It's huge. So I'm going to place this in the corner of the room just for a little bit of texture. And I just love how that pompous grass looks. I'm using that Hobby Lobby tree arrangement and I'm placing it inside of this basket and I'm going to style it next to the standing mirror in the corner. I also have our robot vacuum in here kind of tucked away behind the dresser so that'll add a little bit of life over there and then this is a hack so I'm using a brick mold to hide wallets and keys and tissues just anything that you just need to dump in your room that you don't don't want just strung out on top of the dresser so having a place to anchor it all really is so helpful
and here is the final look of the bedroom all decorated. You can see it's little touches that really make such a big difference. I didn't do anything crazy or over the top. I just kept it very neutral with a cohesive color palette. So hopefully this inspires you if you are decorating your room. I plan on adding a picture shelf next to this dresser above the chair with a few pictures of Taylor and Brooks and I. So I'm still looking for the perfect like gallery wall for that wall but I'm loving how everything turned out. It is such a relaxing space and one I really look forward to ending the day in. Everything is nice and decorated now, but I wanted to quickly tell you guys about the furniture pieces in case I got questions about it down in the comments. So for the fireplace, this was purchased from Wayfair and this is kind of a funny story. So we ordered this fireplace a couple years ago and when we got it in, the electric part that was the insert in this fireplace didn't work. So we had to get a replacement fireplace. They went ahead and sent us a whole new brand Brand new fireplace but told us we could keep um, the parts of this they said just to get rid of it which I hated to do so I had my husband build in a faux insert that way I could just have a faux fireplace so that is where that's from kind of a long story our bed frame was purchased from a local furniture store but they carry this exact bed frame on Wayfair. So I'll link the bed frame down below. It's got the headboard piece and then the bed frame that the mattress sits on and then the front as well. It's all one piece and we love it. It's very cozy. I feel like it could go with a lot of different styles. The bench that's at the end of the bed was a piece that we picked up on our first trip to Waco, Texas. We went to Clint Harp's shop and we were able to go into like his back garage and he had a lot of extra furniture that he he was selling for a really good price so we ended up getting that bench unfinished it was just the bottom piece for $25 which I thought was crazy so I snatched it up and we hauled that piece back all the way from Texas to Illinois back home with us and it was so worth it I just had Taylor build the top part of the bench we painted that white I will say however the stain on the bottom is a bit orange so I would love to bleach it and see if I could get it a lighter brown color so that's been a DIY I want to do, but I'm also scared I'm going to ruin it. So I've just left it as is, but I think one of these days I'm going to bleach it and try to get that orangey stain color a little more muted. So that's where that is from. Our dresser, our media center, and our nightstands are all from a place called Weekends Only. We bought these before we were even married around six years ago. Taylor and I drove like an hour and a half to the Weekends 
only store. And I found this furniture. I thought it was good, neutral pieces. Again, my style has changed a lot from six years ago, but I'm still pretty happy with it. It's very functional. I would like to change out the pools eventually. They're kind of just a like nickel color, but they're not bad at all. So I've just left them. But funny story with that furniture. So on our way home, we had strapped it all down in the back of Taylor's old truck and a couple of the pieces fell out on the interstate and it was a disaster. We had to pull off, we had to like circle back around, try to get into that lane again and backtrack and then hope that no one ran over these huge boxes of furniture. All the pieces were like already standing and put together, they were huge and they were just laying in the road. So I was like, they're gonna be busted up and hopefully no one got in a wreck because of them just laying in the road. But luckily when we pulled back around, they were still intact. They were literally in the middle of the road. So Taylor had to kind of drag it off and then get it back into the truck. It was just a mess. So we got it home and luckily there was only one dent in one of the pieces. So the tall dresser on the back side has a gash on the top. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it also kind of has a gash on the bottom drawer, but it's really not noticeable. So we've gotten away with using the furniture for many years here we are six years later and it works just fine so that is all the furniture that we have in our room aside from that we used to have a ceiling fan in here but I just didn't like the look of it so I purchased this light that we have now it's kind of a matte black color and it's very large I bought that off of Facebook marketplace for $25 I thought it was such a steal and it's such a beautiful piece that really gives that relaxing serene feel in here so that's all the furniture and bigger items that we have in here. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment down below, but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating my bedroom with me today, and I will see you all really soon in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.